Terrafin, a lifeguard that knows boxing. Hello everyone, hope you're all doing amazing today. My name is Mr. Hero and welcome back to Skylanders Giants. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Terrafin. More specifically, the Sandhog path. So, normally I'd use the primary path, but recently I did get Series 2 Terrafin. And I didn't realise the WoW Pal was that insane. So we're going to be talking about that along with the Sandhog Path. So, with that being said, let's master our Sandhog skills. Let's talk about the upgrades. Thank you to Robin Pikachu on Reddit from two years ago for putting this up. So. Sandhog Path, Master Earth Swimmer, increases speed whilst burrowing, speed run, good, hard to control, maybe, but once you get it down it's really not that bad. Homing Frenzy, mini sharks home in on enemies and do increased damage, this upgrade's good, because when you have the increased speed it's kind of hard to hit the enemies with the fin, so having the mini sharks being able to home in on the enemies and do that extra damage whilst you're trying to control the fin and try and get it to attack the enemies is really good. And finally, Razor Fin. This is the most important upgrade because this actually gives the fin the attack. While burrowing, Terra Fin's fin does damage to enemies. Like I said, this upgrade's quite important because if it wasn't there, there wouldn't be much point of the Sandhog path because you wouldn't be able to do damage to the enemies anyway. And this is definitely the safer path. Because, like I said before, whilst you're underground, you cannot get hit. And finally, let's talk about the Wow Pal. So I don't have a photo or anything for the Wow Pal, but I have it up on my monitor right now. So I'll just read from there. So... Long story short, when you do the belly flop, normally you just land hard on the ground, right? But with the wow pal, when you do that, you can press B whilst you're in the air, and not only will you deal the belly flop damage, you will also go back underground. This is really good, because there is a set timer for how long you can be underground. And with that, if you feel like you're running out of time underground, you could just... Uh, burrow away from the enemies or if they're not attacking or they're attacking the opposite direction do the belly flop do the 60 damage and then go back underground and reset the timer so yeah this power power is pretty good but with that being said let's move on to some gameplay okay so okay um excuse the obs lag a little bit there i don't know why it did that it didn't do it at all for the rest of the recording but as soon as i hit record it just lagged out like crazy but that doesn't matter, it will be fine for the rest of the video, so as you saw there, that's the wow pal, and I'm still learning how to use this, so don't expect me to be like the master of Terrafin. One thing I can say though, potentially master of Drill Sergeant, I'll take that, but not master of Terrafin yet. So you're probably wondering, why did I clip out some of the chapter? Because I felt like most of it's just moving around. And when I'm doing like combat showcases, I think it would be easier for me just to show like all the arena battles and stuff like that. So, as you're seeing here, dealing with hordes of enemies is pretty simple. Because you have to wait until they attack behind you. And then do the belly flop when you feel like the time is about to end. And you do 65 to 90 damage, I think. Which is pretty good. To be honest, I think one of the more difficult things about using Terrafin is trying to control him whilst he's underground. Because he moves quite fast, which does make it a little bit difficult to try and hit the enemies. And as you can see there, when you hit the wall, sometimes you bounce off, sometimes you pop back up. One thing I do want to mention, do not do the belly flop when the enemy is about to attack. Because if you do the belly flop and they do, they can still hit you, cancel the belly flop and going back underground and you can just get comboed to death. 
So yeah, just look out for those sort of attacks. So one thing I did want to know, is it possible to do the bridge skip with Terrafin? Now I finally found it out, it's 65 to 97 damage on crits, which is kind of insane, I can't lie. Being able to do 95 damage and then go back underground to do it three more times is definitely a W. But yeah, one thing we are going to try and do is the bridge skip, which I think will be quite easy because all you have to do is summon the little mini sharks and then we'll die and we can just cross the bridge with relative ease. For some reason the quality of my uh, recording goes really bad when I cross that bridge. I really don't know why it just does that. I know it might be because I'm playing on the Wii and since my laptop's old I have to uh, use it on a really low setting so if it's bad quality unfortunately my laptop cannot handle higher quality videos. So hopefully I get a new one soon enough. But now we're on to the arena. So with the arena, obviously, we're going to have to be very careful about all the edges that there are. Because if we do not know where we're going with the shark fin, we are going to go tumbling down to our ultimate doom. And to be honest, I don't think we would preferably want to do that. So we're just going to do what we normally do and just trying to stay off the edge. Now this is where it gets fun. I always love having this massive horde of enemies because you can just clearly just show off how the Skylander deals with crowd control. As you're seeing right here, Terrafin is very good at it. He just destroyed those enemies like they were nothing. And one thing I am noticing during this gameplay, I haven't used the homing sharks at all. And to be honest, I kept forgetting, but here is where I'm going to use them. Because it'll be too risky to use the shark fin going over the edge. So I just decided why not just use the sharks whilst I'm trying to deal with these guys. And there we go, we always end up getting hit at some point near the end. It's really annoying because we have a really good hitless run and something just randomly comes out the blue and just screws us over. So once again, we're just going to cheese that by uh, letting them walk in the fire. Nice combo from Terrafin. Sure you unlock more from the melee path, but we're going to be using this path. So now I'm finally using the tiny sharks underground. This is where I'm going to want to use it because I'm completely safe underground. Keep going back under and just destroy the enemies. That is just Terrafin in a nutshell. So, what have we learned? The Sandhog path is the safest path for Terrafin. And with that, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. But before I do, we are so close to 400 subscribers, and I cannot thank you guys enough. But with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.